have nots in the wake of Sandy. Across the street, all of a sudden, it's like a ghost town. Trekking to lower Manhattan, you'll find street after street of shuttered businesses. Traffic signals no more. The eerie quiet makes even the loud hum of a generator calming. We had to walk to the 20th floor to get stuff with flashlights on Halloween. It was the creepiest thing ever. For those stuck in the dark, the few open options lead to simple living. Eating a lot of peanut butter and jelly and trying to find any restaurants they're serving. Usually just alcohol and whatever they got left they can make and feed us. But uptown, it's business as usual. Lights, trains, normalcy. It's kind of like the twilight zone. Nothing's going on. And you step up here and there's power and electricity and food. In this tale of two cities, the line of demarcation sits around 30th Street, with those living below still wondering when they'll be able to flush their toilets, and those living above questioning which Starbucks they should visit. Even if you have nothing to do with downtown, we, you know, we had to wait for a lot of things. But without my Starbucks, it's been really hard, so you should know that. It, they were closed for a couple of days, so that was rough. Quite the tough go at it on the Upper yeah. West Side. But for someone coming from the perilous West Village, silver linings emerge. It's less cell phone, less internet. You know, my work email doesn't work. So that's actually pretty nice. And a lot of normal conversations like we used to have. It's a different kind of communication, but some would argue better. John Wagner, New York One.